ready to hear about a game-changing therapy? Well, let's talk about Tassimorellin. FDA approved, and you know what it does? It specifically targets adipose tissue. That's right, belly fat. That visceral fat that's really bad for you, this is what it's gonna go after. Plus, it raises IGF-1 levels, your own natural growth hormone levels. Wouldn't you wanna raise those for anti-aging properties, better lean mass, losing weight all around, that body mass index going down, plus feeling better by sleeping better, recovering better. This is what Tessamolin can do for you. Now this is a game-changing therapy, like I said, FDA approved, and it will specifically target that visceral body fat. Call or text 727-389-3220 for more information or for you to get on this amazing therapy with Titan Medical Center. Dinner at 11. How convenient. Then I'll be picking up table for 16, so it's a big shift, yeah. Well, the wash here. Oh, Aha! Jim Melbourne! What's up? Well, eight for 30 days in Japan. You choose an herbal, earthy tenderness that's unmatched. You add that Siberian oceanic caviar to the bite, it's gonna blow your mind. Caviar, huh? Oh, yeah, there's a lot. You're gonna get the world's best caviar tonight. We're doing three different expressions.
night, Saturday, big day, big gap party down in Miami, Art Basel. Big shout out to my brother Harsh for putting this down. Can't wait, it's gonna be insane. I won't be able to videotape all of it, there's some secret stuff going on. But you guys are gonna see a lot of the good stuff, so stay tuned. Head to the yacht, let's go. We are here at the yacht. Thank you, one of our police escorts here in the front and the back. Let's go check this out, see what's good. Oh yeah, getting farther. Let's go. Let's see ya.
Hello, my name is Cass, one of the nurse practitioners at Titan Medical Center. I wanted to talk to you today about one of our immune boosting therapies. Right now is a great time to work on your immunity. The weather is getting cold. People are getting the bugs, the flu, the coughing, the sneezing. So how else can you work on that? Boost your immunity. We have a treatment. It is called the Triimmune Blend. This therapy consists of injectable vitamin C, glutathione, and zinc. Zinc has been shown to shorten the duration of the common cold. Vitamin C builds your immune system greatly. And glutathione really pumps up your immune system. So injecting this into your muscle daily or a maintenance dose throughout the week can really improve your immune system during these times of the holidays, especially around many, many people and the change in weather. So if you're interested in learning about the Tri-Immune Blend, give us a call. 727-389-3220 or reach us online by visiting titanmedicalcenter.com. Thank you and stay well. more than a medical center, it's a lifestyle. For more information on how to become a patient, call or text us today at 727-389-3220 and let Titan Medical Center help you feel, look, and perform your very best. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you. So we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so we're gonna. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. Every week, me and Sharice are bringing you guys these hot topics, tricks, tips, and will hopefully help you guys out in your marriage, your relationship, or future relationship. Okay, and every week we cover all kinds of different topics, um, things that hopefully will help you guys out. And we might have went through some of these different things, or have incorporated some of these tricks to help our relationship. We got lots of tricks. Or we've definitely learned from other people's relationships as well, right? Yeah, don't and, do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> or you know, maybe incorporate that. Yeah. There's always good learning experiences out there, and every day is a learning experience. True. And if you're in a relationship. Every day is a new day for your relationship, okay? And that relationship can go either positive or negative. So, you know, we always talk about some things that hopefully will make things more positive. But you need to know what to look for if things are negative, right? If you're in a relationship that's a negative relationship or marriage that's possibly not doing as good as it possibly could or just wasn't like it used to be, at that point, you got to look for these different signs and then you're going to have to create some action. So let's talk about some of these different signs, all right? Because there's a good abundance of these things, but there's a couple key ones I think we should focus in on, mm -hmm. right? One, um, sexless, all right? I think that's a, it's a big one, right? We brought this up on plenty of occasions yeah. that you must do your due diligence yeah. and do your job. You got to do the duties. You got to do the duties. It's that's just right. like cleaning the dishes and doing laundry. Yeah. You just add it in, you yeah. know? It's just one of those things. Yeah. You gotta add it in. Yep. Whether you want to, you don't want to. Maybe it's great. Maybe it's not. Maybe, you know, your kids are outside listening on the door. Oh, jeez. This is fun. Or you're, you know, maybe an in law's outside listening on the yep. door. Who knows? Yep. But you still gotta make it happen. Yep. It's very important. I mean, it, 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 it's, it really is like a really, it's, it's a, a connection. Part, right? It's a part. It's, it's a, a physical, connection. It's a physical connection. You, you should have the physical connection because believe it or not, you know, the day goes by so fast and you could just, boom, just goes. The whole day and you're like wow 
I didn't even get to hug my husband today or wow, I didn't even get to kiss you today. I think that happened to us not not that long ago. Yeah. Where we went the whole day and then John finally told me, I think it was around like four o'clock and he's like I didn't get a kiss today. And I usually stop in the morning, no matter how busy I am, because I'm busy. I'm busier than any human being on the yep. planet, okay? Yep. I, I was just, boop, 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 and then, you know, just kind of got in the car and just raced to work, and, you know, it was just one of those things. But he's like, hey, I didn't get a kiss today. Like, what happened? I usually stop at least in the garage, yep. and I'll be like, hey, uh, I love you, and give him a kiss. But that's a little tiny things that count, right? Yep. It, means yeah. it means a lot. It means a lot. Physical touch is big. You know, sex is, is a one part of the relationship. It's not everything in the relationship. No. It's not. It never mm, is. No. You know, that that's why those lustful relationships in the beginning, like when you first meet somebody, you're very attracted to them. You might have sex with them, and at that point, um, it wears off because there's no other substance to that relationship, emotional attachment um, or anything like that. Like a mental connection yeah, or something. You, you start know? talking to them, and there is no common interest. Yeah, and then you're bored, and then it just move on time, <laughs> Exactly. Right? But once you, you've established that mental connection, you guys have been past this, you guys are in a relationship. Obviously, it's not just uh, a physical relationship, but you have to incorporate that physical touch, right, in one way or another, and that's giving me kisses, giving me hugs, and then... Having that time where you guys are going to be intimate together, right? And planning that if you have to, do it. But if you're at the stage where you guys aren't having any alone time or adult time mm -hmm. and you guys aren't planning this or you guys aren't worrying about it, there could be an issue on one side or both. Right. So that's, that's something you guys should look for. Yeah. Two, constant criticism. So you don't want to constantly criticize your partner, mm -hmm. right? Um, you're, you're making them feel lower than you. You're criticizing everything they do. Your job sucks. You have this janky career. You're dressing horrible. Uh, you know, like all these different things. Like, you know, you criticize this. The, you made me this food. It sucks, right? This is this is the worst pizza or steak oh or chicken I've ever the, had I in my throw life. throw the food back You know, you need to type. take some, some, some tips or, or, <laughs> or critique you know, uh, Mary over there. She can cook me a hell of a steak. Oh, you know? she can, can she? <laughs> okay. Let's see what Mary can do for you. <laughs> you know, that, that's, that, you know that, that's another big one, uh, right? And then, you know, and then not spending any time together. And I'm not talking about intimate time. I'm talking about your, like, date time. Like, time where... Hang out time. Yeah, you guys are... Just... Enjoying each out. other's company, right? Yeah. Um, and you guys are there and you guys are solely focusing on each other, not multitasking when you guys are together, um, like on the phone. It's so hard to do nowadays too, right? Because you have this device and it's constantly going off with either a phone call, yep. a text message, yep. an email notification, yep. or one of your little Twitter, you know, medias. TikTok, whatever, notifications, Facebook, Instagram, whatever social media platforms are out there. Yep. One of those little dings go off, right? Yep. Put your phone on silent. I swear it's not going to kill you. And even if you're a business owner, it's not going to kill you. Yeah. I don't care who you are or how important you are. It's not going to kill you, even if it's just an hour. Right. You'd be surprised how much an hour would do. You might find out, let's just say, in that hour, you guys are just having a good time talking about different things. You might find out that they're having an issue at work that you guys haven't even talked about because right. you guys have been so busy and just going about your day. Right. And you're like, wow, I didn't even know. Like you had something going on. Or, you know, let's just say they have a health issue going on. You might bring that up in a conversation. I mean, it doesn't have to be a serious conversation, but you guys might stumble upon topics, mm -hmm. good and bad, mm -hmm. that you may not even know that's going on because you guys don't dedicate that time to really communicate, chat, have a good time, enjoy each other, you know, that kind of stuff. Like what goes right along with that? wanting to spend time with your partner yeah. because there's couples out there that we've ran across like man i don't even want to be nowhere near around him like, i have people that have literally real? bought bought a house for their significant other to live in outside of their own house yeah i'm like that's kind of weird right and they're like no it works for us and i'm like okay I mean, whatever works, you guys will live in separate homes, but you know, whatever works is fine with you. I couldn't, I personally couldn't do it. Yeah. So, um, I, I, you know, whatever floats your boat. However, um, do I think that's healthy for the relationship? Probably not. You know, I mean, different people have different things that they want to do in the relationship and it's, you got to make sure that you're spending that time and you're wanting to spend time generally with your partner. Right. And um, if you don't, you might want to just think why, why? Yeah. Why? Highlight why it. That? Cause I mean, maybe it? it's, oh, they irritate me. Well, you know, well, you really then what, do, what do they do to irritate you? Can yeah. you guys talk it out? 
Like, these are things you have to address. The, the, guys, there's only so long that you can sweep things under the rug. Right. Because the rug's, like, about this big, right? Or bottle up those emotions. Right, and the bottle's still only this big. Again, yeah. like I said, you, there's only so much that fits under the carpet or in the bottle. And as soon as it gets full, there's no more that can fit, and right. you're eventually going to just get fed up with each other. Right. And if you truly love someone, which it's, I think, like, it's hard to find good, true like deep love nowadays because yeah. nobody really allows it to happen right yeah. you something goes wrong in the relationship and moving on or you know i didn't like this little tiny thing about you moving on you know yeah. nobody ever gives anybody a chance anymore it's yeah. just moving on to the next moving on to the next moving on to the next i know when i was growing up you know it was like weird if your parents were divorced yeah. right like if your parents were divorced people look, looked at you and your parents are not together what's right. wrong with you right. like well, what, well why why did what's your family why right. they, why are they like that now it's like if your parents are still married, it's weird. Yeah, you're the minority now. You're the point. minority now. Yeah. It's like... It's, That's the weird thing. Like, your parents are still together? They're still together? Like, they've yeah. been together for... for 15 years? Yeah, 20 God, years, God, that's, so, that's so strange. I had, like, three moms. So, yeah, that's very... You know, it's important to try. Right. Try. You know? Um, the other thing is, is, you know, being faithful, right? That's another big oh, one. Man. A lot of people, they're putting the wayside anymore. It's not really thought about or I guess the degree that it used to mm -hmm. um, just because people are out there sliding your DMs or <laughs> you're not happy DMs. with something that your partner did then you think you're going to go out and do this or it's going to make you happy. Mm. Um, or get even. Yeah, that's yeah, another that's one. That's a you bad know? one. It's that's a like a whole one. episode. It's a bad Yeah, it's definitely that's a bad That's a whole one. episode. We'll definitely talk about we that. We definitely one, cover sure. that one. We definitely need to cover that for sure. <laughs> I agree with you one of Yeah, don't get even. Uh, never good. <laughs> yeah, that, that's never any good. Okay? No. You, know? well, you always want to have the upper hand, man. All yeah. right? So if you have the upper hand, keep the upper hand just let them make it up to you for sure and let them catch up you know for sure it, it, it'll work out if they want to keep making it up to you to catch up and yeah. once you lose the upper hand your deck of cards is gone yeah, yeah you know there's no there's no flush for you two wrongs don't make a right no never, never does never will never has just is what it is right yeah. so you just want to make sure that you're looking at these different and remember things. guys i mean ultimately I, me personally I'm, i mean the whole planet knows I, i'm probably the most jealous woman on the planet i at least i can admit it you know but i am very jealous right so and i've always been jealous john now accepts me for who i am which i love him for this right but anyways Cheating can be in so many different forms, right? True. So it, it, you have to look at it like this because some people might not think something is cheating. So, for instance, I'll use the, the little DM thing as an example. Let's just say you're talking to some girl in your Facebook Messenger or IG Messenger or whatever it might be. Maybe it's not even like an intimate mm -hmm. conversation. It's just like, hey, what you doing? How, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. Like to me, personally, my personal opinion that to me is not necessarily a form of cheating, but good enough to call it cheating, right? Like, you, why are you talking to this person for what? Mm -hmm. Like, what? You, no, you're, there's no new friends for you on Facebook or Instagram. Nobody, there's no reason to talk to them, right? right? And then you know that's how I feel about it. Some people, and we'll bring it up, they think cheating was watching porn, right? right? Uh, me personally, I don't think that's cheating. I would much yeah. prefer that my husband would go watch porn over going to meet somebody at a hotel room. You know, whatever it is. Maybe mm -hmm. you're, maybe there's something that you're not doing that he catches on there. And that's just the TV. Now, however, there's webcam girls, right? All this other fun stuff. That's cheating. So I guess you guys are going to have to really lay out what's considered okay and mm -hmm. what's not considered mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so that everybody's on the same page and everybody's happy. Yep. Because once you cross the line, then like coming back, is it's hard. There's got to be boundaries that are set up. And when you set those boundaries up, you stay within those boundaries. Now, sometimes people think that they're going to be okay with some boundaries, right? And then the partner goes to those boundaries. And then at that point, you realize, I don't feel okay with this. Wow. Well, then you got to communicate and then you got to at least resolve the issue and say, listen, gotta talk I really about wasn't it. okay with this. Like um, I thought it was, but not really. Like going <laughs> forth, like, I don't think that, you know, I want to do this anymore. I don't want you to do this anymore. And at that point, then they got to respect that. And you guys got to kind of draw back that line to where you guys are both happy each other you, right? at a halfway point it's yeah. not always for you or always for him or yeah. whatever it might be there's got to be a halfway point where yeah. both of you guys are happy yeah. right so just be like it's my way all the time or it's your way all the time it's yeah. got to be like there's got to be a halfway point now if there's some things when you, when you start battling things right and it's not that big of a deal to you but you just originally thought like i don't want to do it like this but it's not that big deal deal with you and it's a real big deal to your partner sometimes you got to give in Right, and you give in to them, and you know you let them have their way to a certain extent. 
as long as you're okay with it, you know, it's not like de- devastating of what's going to happen, you know. And then Ruin you your them, life. You make them real happy. And then at that point, you know, maybe they'll do that for you exactly. and reciprocate down the road. Where, for sure. You know, they might not agree with it, you know, to a certain extent, but it, it's not the end of the world. And then they're like, you know what, go ahead and do it. If this really makes you happy, I'm, I'm here to support you 110%. Mm-hmm. I think that's what a lot of people they are missing these days, right? Right. They don't support their partner 110%. Communication. And, and communication draws back to that where you guys are talking about things, you know, amicably and, and, and civilly and, and like, you know, mature adults. Mm-hmm. And you're not, you know, holding grudges or, mm. you know, you're, you're saying one thing, but you really don't. Mean it. it, you know. That's the other thing out there. Yeah, that that makes no sense because your partner's going off of what you say, and then if he thinks that, or or she thinks that, you know, all right, cool, they're cool with this, and then you do it, <laughs> and then they're they're mad at <laughs> you and flipping out at you, I'm like, why did you do it? Like, listen, you told me I could do this. I thought it was okay. Like, no, it's not okay. You know, and then and then you're like fighting about it. And at that point, you got to resolve that. So just make sure you guys are are clearly communicating honestly be clear about what you do and do not want don't got to be brutal but just make sure you're clear and to the point and very honest and transparent about these yes. things and then as the partner you're accepting it and you guys are moving forward so these are some different things to look for red flag wise or maybe help you guys out in the future maybe not to do or to do just circumstances of whatever it is what to look for yeah just look for these different things and then that will hopefully help you guys relationship be a successful relationship because that's sure. ultimately what you want. There's going to be highs and lows in every relationship, but you don't want dramatic relationships. You don't want to have to be fighting all the time. Um, you know, just roll with the punches to a certain degree, but make sure you guys are both happy too because that's what ultimately <laughs> comes down to you guys being happy and you guys being in a, a strict, committed relationship with each other and not everybody outside. Okay? <laughs> so um, that's Cupid's Corner for this week, guys. I hope you guys like the topics that we're bringing to you guys every Sunday here on ABC 11 a.m. Um, if you guys are interested, DM us different topics you guys would like us to cover or maybe some questions. You guys can always check out our awesome content on Facebook, Instagram. Look up at Type Medical or at Type Medical Center or YouTube with all this great content and more. Just go to YouTube and type in Type Medical Center and you guys will find us, all our great videos and everything we can possibly do for you. So we'll see you guys next week, 11 a.m. on ABC. If not, hit your DVR button. You guys can watch it later or check out YouTube. All right, guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Thanks, guys.